Hello again guys, uh, today we're just going to do a brief walkthrough of the area and show you what's going on. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I've been, tell been told to turn sound on so hopefully this won't be too loud on my voice or over my voice. And I'm just going to give you a show of the area. Uh, first thing of course will be the hub. Uh, didn't bring a minecart with me, so uh, unfortunately, that's not going to really be the use with these track. What the hell? What the hell? Hmm. Don't know who dug into my track, but uh, yeah. All right. Any rate, here we go. The hub is just up here, and as you can see, it's a pretty short walk. As well as showing you the area, I will talk a little bit about the mods at the end of the video that I use, and the texture pack, because I have been asked to give some detail on that. But as you can see, it is the Minecraft hub, or Minecraft hub, sheesh. Um, yeah, right now everybody's just getting started up after the whole server crash. We've got, let's see, uh, Dingles here. Uh, we got Max the Griefer. <laughs> or should I say Max the Midget Nasty? He's there. Um, yeah, somebody's got a portal down here. No clue who, no name, which I ain't got one either on mine. Oh, and then I'm assuming that whoever's portal this is, they have one. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. I'll show you spawn real quick. Yeah, here's spawn. It's just a very small area. Chest for unwanted items. A little wheat farm if somebody wants to stick around long enough for it to grow. A furnace and crafting bench. Now, we do have a thousand uh, rule radius, a thousand block rule radius for spawn, so everybody has to go a thousand blocks out. But people are welcome to take wood and things like that to make some items before they go, so they don't die on the trip, should we say. Yeah, again, I am living on zombie flesh. <laughs> like I said, it seems to be my source meal on Minecraft. If it's not zombie flesh, it usually winds up either being bread or mushrooms. And since, while I do have a village, but the bread takes so long to grow, and where I'm moving around in chunks for it doesn't load them, I'm not getting much of that. So it's just easier to use the zombie generator and get the rotten meat from the, from there. Okay, you can hear a ghast. Yeah, any anyway, rate, let's see here. Down here we do have another hub. Uh, or nether hub. <laughs> another fortress. Uh, this map has been extremely kind to me. I mean, this is just one such example. I will show some more as we go. As you can see, this is a pretty massive nether hub. Or, nether fortress. Why do I keep calling it a hub? Alright, let's get on down here. We're going to do a little searching in it not right now for some nether wart. I am kind of needing it to make potions, so we're going to go inside. Um, up on top of this little area here, if you could look, see that right over there, there is a lovely little blaze spawner. I've got some friends on here who keep saying that they can make uh, one of the traps. Uh, talking about making the ether one, and... Uh, yeah, if that happens, well, it'll be another area for people to come and use. But as you can see, I have set this thing up 
the bl blaze still spawn occasionally, but uh, yeah, they've really been nerfed with those torches there. So yeah, let's see if we can find a nice little area for some nether ward in here. Hopefully we can, because that will make grinding for EXP so much easier. And if we can't, maybe... Yeah, looks like we got another blaze spawner. Woot. That's two for one, in fairly close proximity. Though it's not what I'm wanting right now. Oh, where is me some nether ward? Ah, there it is. Stairs, stairs are always good, and nether ward is better. So, as with all things, I am planning on replanning as I do this. So, let's go ahead and take care of that. I will probably drag some nether wart up to the surface with me. As, uh, well, I guess you say some nether sand, because nether wart is definitely going. And, uh, with that soul sand, we'll probably start a small nether, uh, nether wart farm. Get things going there. That way we'll have plenty of nether wart to come back to. Won't have to worry about too much. Glowstone down there. Not interested at the moment. Oh, at any rate, once we get out of here, I'll show you around the village a little. Oh, nom nom nom, zombie flesh. So yeah, up on the overworld, wherever I was starting out, I actually have Max to thank for my wonderful area, because if it was not for him saying, you know what, uh, trying to goad me into not making an abandoned mine shift my home, I would have never once stopped at the sand village, I would have just kept right on going looking for a ravine. So, I, like I said, I actually have to kind of thank him for goading me on that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Dusty and Decline and Draco, all three are new people. Uh, they applied with us just a day or so ago. And of course, since you know nobody's really actively applying, they got in pretty fast. And yeah, right now they're been pretty dedicated, pretty hardworking. So let's see. Speaking of the generator, uh, while I do live in a desert biome. And I'm going to be using plenty of sand from this desert, I am sure. I also do have a sand generator. Now, I... Uh, hold on just a second. Whoops. There we go. Uh, it seems that a lot of the Minecraft guys have them on their server, so I can't really call this one a hack or a glitch that would take away from the Minecraft experience, such as. It's definitely a little weird to say, but since we figure if they can use them, uh, we see no problem in our server trying to use them. And I copied this one from DocM, which copied it from JL2579, I think it is. And he is a redstone maniac. <laughs> He's come up with things that I can't even begin to imagine how he got the ideal. So, here's the village, though. 
Uh, we've had plenty of creeper blast. What the hell? What the hell, man? What the hell? Uh, up until recently, it appeared that the villagers were doing pretty well. Looks like this one is now gone. Yeah, something got him. So that's another villager gone. Uh, it's probably because when the creeper blew up beside the building, it knocked the light out and that zombie probably spawned in here. At any rate, uh, we do, still got three over here. So that's all fine and dandy. While I'm thinking about let's check the light levels just in case. Yeah, they are kinda low. Hey guys, don't mind me, just putting up a few extra lights. <laughs> yeah, I want to keep these guys alive as, a pos er, as much as I possibly can, because next expansion, these guys are going to begin, uh, become very useful, because next expansion, they're supposed to be emerald, oh, excuse me guys. Emerald related items or related pyramids that actually make the emerald useful. Again, I've talked about this in a previous vi a video, but yeah, just it'll just say it again, should we say? <laughs> All right, uh, let's see if this guy's still alive. Yeah, he's still good. You better stay right there. Nope, nope. Oh, this is going in badly. I already see it. Oh, no. Let's put some lights up in here then. That's your home. That's what you want your home, but you want be my guest. Just let me seal you in there so nobody's coming after you, though. There's that. So another one's alive. That's four. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one door got knocked down. Uh, it was another one where I forgot to put more torches up after a creeper blast. So he's gone. These guys still oh wow. Nope, these guys are not alive. What happened to the door? So I guess more ain't that just freaking lovely? Oh, my butcher's still alive, so that's good news. I don't want crap spawning in here. Well, just beat me. Let's see. Give him my records. There's that. So, five villagers. Let's see. We got another one hidden back here. Oh, we got another two hidden back here. They're safe for now. So that's seven. Oh no, I'd say that's not bad so far. Though I do need to make me a villager farm at some time. So, we took this villager's home after it blew up and the creeper got the villager. Made it into an enchanting area, which we have moved. I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, of course, we've got our own personal home. And store everything that we need. Uh, I guess I will start with... No, I'll start with the... Uh, crud, what you might call it over here. The abandoned mine shaft area. Because I've done a video on the stronghold. And while it's nice, I've... 
at the same time, I don't want to show off some of the work that I've had done in it. Holy shit, at the creepers and skeletons down there. Don't know what the heck's up with that, but uh, I guess we'll throw out some more torches when we go back up. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's something else I probably should point out if you didn't notice, is I am a torchy guy. If it's dark, I will light it up. I cannot stand that. So, at any rate. Yeah, check it out. Our band mineshaft. <laughs> of course they climb walls in real life. Wouldn't make no sense if they couldn't climb a wall in the game. Let's see if I can remember exactly where it is. Ah, here it is. Got us a spider spawner. Yay! If I'm not mistaken, we have us a, sp a cave spider spawner just right over here. But it looks like I may be mistaken. Yeah, right here it is. So they're pretty close, though I don't think they're close enough I can actually you know, link them together and have two spider spawners going but that's where some of the good things come in now, down here I have found another two oh excuse me I, I'll just get to that in a bit I'll crap <laughs> yeah this is the problem with this place I, I get started in it and I get lost even with the torch system, it sometimes don't work. So yeah, we're going to go show off the stronghold a little bit here. So. Alright, here we go. Again, as I said, I did a video on the stronghold because it was my first time ever finding one. Um, I have set some of the books out for people. Like right now, uh, uh, what's his name? Mr. Miles has come and got some books for me. And then I've got another two, two or three people's wants books. And I have no problem giving them the books for this place. Uh, they're really, well they look nice, they look great, <laughs> it's not going to be a very fun place to be at, especially because if somebody screws up and hits a block, hey, we can have silver fish everywhere. Alrighty, but here is the pred of this place. Yeah, can you guess what this is? It is a zombie spawner which is located conveniently behind this wall and then a skeleton spawner which is located behind this wall now I don't have a uh, lighting system in place yet so I can't turn it on show you anything inside of it unfortunately but I can show you the red work uh, red stone work I admit I did get this off of a guide on YouTube, so along with him and everybody else that done it. <laughs> but it works out nicely, everything works completely, and nobody can really argue about how effective it is. As you can see, just being here for just a few little bit we have, it's been 11 mobs there right now. Within 15 minutes at maximum, that thing has over 200 mobs. So that's instantly level 30. Of course, I'm going to be building a nice little potion brewing area. And I've already got the enchantment area. So that's all set up nice and ready to go. Oh. I'm going to turn this area back here, after I do some cleaning on it of course, into the portal area, leads down to the nether portal, or not nether portal, but the end portal, 
That way, when everybody need, uh, wants to go to the end, we can all meet up here. Since this stronghold's already discovered, already conquered, ready to go. Only thing we need to do is get the eyes of Ender, and hey, we can begin. But before we take on the Ender Dragon, I'm trying to make sure that everybody is set up and got they've got a home. The community spawn is built, and then we'll go from there. That way we know everybody's set up, they're able to go out and have a good time fighting dragon. And we're, we're not going to be sitting here going, well, you know, I see that uh, some of us have diamond armor, some of us don't have any armor. Oh, that guy's got a wooden sword. You know, we don't want that crap. We want to be ready to go wherever we take it on. So yeah guys, uh, this is pretty much my place, uh, eventually as I begin working, getting my gear and stuff enchanted, things set up, this big sand mountain over here is going to become my home, while I know I'm going to destroy any natural look of this sand mountain whenever I begin working on it, I do have, that's the reason I do have the sand generator. I'm going to be using it to make sandstone and sand so I can make try make it look as natural as possible. I'm going to include in my design though that birch wood right out there or is that spruce wood? Uh, whichever it is, it's the dark wood. It will be my beams and support or support beams for the big desert hill. I'll be using those and these birch trees here will make a nice addition to any type of wooden area I want to build because they have such a nice light colored wood and it looks really good. As well as doing that I will be having the sandstone walls and redstone floor or er, red wool floor which Max showed was absolutely gorgeous in some of his videos but in addition to that I believe I am going to put a one block stone brick uh, in between the floor and the wa uh, wall that way it will give a little variation you could be able to follow it pretty easy, uh, easier and it doesn't just all blend together or melt together and start to look boring uh, so yeah guys, uh, other than that, I don't really have much else to show you tonight. And we'll try begin doing some more actual let's plays in this area. Here, hopefully in the next day or so. Yeah, but for now, everybody have a good night. Oh, hello again guys. A uh, quick addition to the video uh, I forgot to do in the first bit. Uh, I was asked to tell about some of the add-ons that I use and the texture pack that I use. So I'm going to quickly do that. As you can probably already look and see, the texture pack that I'm using is definitely not vanilla. It is called Defined. It has been updated to 1.3. So the new, excuse me, the new emerald textures are in there as well. Uh, Let's see here if I can find one. Yeah, there you go. In the pearl, things of that. They've been a quite a few texture changes on here. And to me, it does pretty much what it says. It makes the things more defined. It stands out better. Uh, I am probably going to change the glass texture, though, to a clear glass texture because the streaked lines in it just it really irks me at any rate now as you could probably see though when I looked over and did the zoom in I have a mod called Optifine uh, what Optifine does it allows first and foremost to do the zoom as you can see here but it does give you a variety of increased ability on your video performance. 
you go in options video settings and as you can see there are a ton of things to choose from uh, you could turn things on and off such as uh, currently I have clouds off because well I don't need to see the freaking clouds to know if it's day or night time outside and it just increases FPS when they are I could turn snow off if I want but yeah I'd rather keep that one on you've got qu uh, different types of qualities such as better grass so whenever you use it it will show a full gl grass block that's grass on the side as well rather than just on the side or uh, on top and the same with snow uh, clear water helps make the water see-through and I believe it helps the water wherever you see uh, wherever you go underneath but I'm not entirely sure on that one. Uh, you got animations, uh, dripping water and lava. I always turn off, as well as rain splash, because while they're nice, but unfortunately they do get on my nerves just seeing things drop down from the ceiling or splashing all over around me. So yeah, uh, you've got plenty of things here to choose from with Optifine and all of it is meant to either improve your graphical usage or to improve your speed of your FPS. Really nice thing. Now at the moment I am currently only using one other mod. Uh, that is called the Convenient Inventory Pack mod or not in convenient inventory but inventory tweaks I'm sorry now uh, what pretty much what this mod does it's a simple mod that does one thing it sorts chest in inventory so if say I'm needing my inventory quickly sorted everything in one area say you know this is here this is here Oh, it's now there again. So it stacks it for you, makes it all nice. The next great thing about it, though, is that if I used up these four sandstone slabs here, say, do do, whoops, <laughs> do do do, it will automatically repopulate it. I don't know what the heck he's talking about with the lag, because I'm not getting any. any rate, uh, while we're looking at this, now this mod can get a little complicated if you want to make it that way uh, for example it has item tree file tells you how items stack uh, you've got sorting rules which tell you you could set up to press a button and it automatically sets things like I know some of the guys have it set up so their sword automatically goes to the first slot then torches to the last slot and pickaxe to the second so if something happens they die whenever they die they come back they grab their stuff they press the button once they press the button their items are in the right area and everything's all, all right now those are the mods I currently use I, I do have plans of getting a couple more once they become available for 1.3 but until then, I'm not even going to bring them up. Uh, there is one other thing that I do use. It is called MultiMC. It's pretty much... It's not a standard client for Minecraft. Uh, unfortunately, I can't record it using my program that I'm currently using. So it might be a little difficult to describe for me. But... Basically, what MultiMC is, is a Minecraft launching application. And when it launches, you get to choose, you could create files, create different versions of 
Minecraft jars. So say if I had a 1.2.5 that I wanted to keep rather than update to 1.3, I could have kept that file. Excuse me. And then if I needed something 1.2.5, I want to test out a mod or something. Or place a mod, should I say, since testing wouldn't be all that great for that. But I could play with 1.2.5 with that mod, and it wouldn't force me to upgrade. I wouldn't have to do any fancy switching out of, the, of my jars. It's all right there in the multi MC client. Uh, it also does add ons, uh, save backups, texture packs. It's got quite a bit of use, and I use it quite frequently. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm going to call this video, and again, uh, everybody have a good night.